All right, boys and girls, today is the moment of truth. Uh, this was a very long rebuild on this bike. Make sure you see our previous videos on all the projects that were done, including bottom end and transmission and bearings and clutch and power valve and all the goodies to do a proper bottom end rebuild. Um, Today's a moment of truth to fire it up. And uh, when you've done a major project to a bike, you know, you're always a little nervous for that first time. So that's what we're about to do, though. So get ready. Well, 
It it runs. It runs. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty tickled about that. I mean, it took a few kicks to get her going, which is normal. And you notice a lot of smoke, and that's normal too, because a lot of the parts inside the crankcase and everything are coated with oils and um, break-in fluids and whatnot. So it's pretty normal for it to smoke that much, you know, on the first couple of cranks. So we'll let it cool down for a few minutes and then we'll fire it up again. All right, we've let it cool down now and we're gonna fire it up again and let it warm up to about 100 degrees, 125 degrees or so. So here we go. start number three and we just you know let it warm up to about operating temperature which will be around 150 to 170 degrees or so and uh, you know just revving it gently and uh, we keep an eye out to make sure there's no leaks anywhere or nothing obvious uh, we'll obviously retighten all the fasteners along you know the engine the crankcase and all that we'll just make sure everything is snug to factory specs and um, 
then we'll cruise around you know, and shift through the gears and all that on it and uh, she should be ready to go so here we go fire it up crank number three Now I've noticed, um, you know, when the all the seals relating to the transmission are brand new, it takes them a little while to break in because you notice how the back wheel would spin a little bit even in neutral, and that's pretty normal, especially when you're using brand new seals all around the uh, transmission. So it'll need to be ridden a little bit for that to loosen up, but uh, and then just go ride it around gently you know just go shift through the gears pretty gently 
you know, for about, you know, a good 10 or 15 minutes or so if you can. I know everyone else has their own method of breaking in an engine and transmission and all that, but that's how we usually do it and always have good success with it. But she is sounding good, man. Uh, I don't even want to tell you how long this project took because it sounds ridiculous, but uh, you know, when you, when you have, <laughs> when you have work to do and a, a life and a, a lady in your life and all that, you know, you can't always be working on this thing every free moment you have. I'm sure some of you understand that. But looking good, sounding good, man, so pleased. Anyway, yeah, check through our other videos. We got all kinds of good videos on stuff that we did to this bike, as well as what all is on it. And as you can see from here, it's got a lot on it. All right, guys, we're gonna cruise it around the street a little bit just to work the transmission in. Just head down back in here a few times, so we'll just let you hear it. Here we go. Man, it shifts like butter. I mean, it is so silky smooth. Oh my goodness. Even better than it was before. Like, well, just silky smooth shifting. Good grief. That, that thing feels so smooth. I mean, wow. That's, uh, you know, that's my first time with an engine rebuild like that, you know, from top to bottom transmission all bearings all seals i even replaced you know shift shaft and other stuff that didn't even need to be replaced but i went ahead and did it anyway because you know you're going that far into it and this is a bike that i'm i'm keeping this bike basically forever so we uh we replaced everything inside there basically good grief really felt nice that's all i can say I mean, I would, I would compare it to how a brand new bike feels, you know? I mean, goodness. It's, it's what you want it to feel like. 
really, really good. I know I'm probably boring some of you to tears with all this, but you know, when you do a project this involved, it just feels good when, uh, when it seems to turn out okay and it runs good, it shifts good. I mean, everything, everything inside that bottom end, everything, clutch. I mean, we kept the uh, the gears themselves as far as the transmission goes, because they were fine. But as far as all seals, all clips, all bearings, all even the uh, power valve linkage, um, Kickstarter spring, you know, just uh, shift shaft, just everything. Everything inside there, new flywheel, new stator, new CDI. All the new electronics, everything. New kill switch even, you know, some, just tons of new stuff. You know I mean? I haven't ridden this thing in, in a long time. I won't even tell you how long it's been, but because of this project, it just basically kept the bike down for a very long time. And it is ready to rock and roll. Thoroughly happy about that. Anywho, I won't bore you guys any longer, but uh, yeah, Mr. White is running fantastic and um, we're ready to get it back out on the track and make sure you check out uh, all our other videos y'all have a good day we'll see ya